guys, Moose Gaming here, as today we're gonna play some Minecraft. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five simple resting contraptions that you definitely should know. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first one we have here is the RS Nor Latch, which is basically a circuit which uh, can be powered with one of the buttons and depowered with the other one. Not like this button can't power it on, this one can, but this one can al cannot also power it off. Uh, which basically uh, me is very useful for stuff like uh, um, key cards or something where you have a base with your friends and there are two hidden levers and you need to flick both of them. Uh, you need to flick one of them to turn it on and one of them to turn it off. It's also useful for elevators. How it works is we have one item in the droppers. This dropper has the item right now, so it gets the comparator at which, which powers it. This one now has the item, so this comparator gets out the output. So how you can build it, you take some, a comparator, a western lamp, some blocks, two droppers, a button, two buttons, sorry. So you place two temporary blocks, you place the droppers facing into each other, you place two blocks here with the comparators facing outside of the droppers, and of one of them for demonstration, I am going to place a lamp. So now we place the two buttons, I put in some a item it can be random it doesn't need to be the redstone lamp that i place here and if i press it this button it goes here this button how is it on okay so this is one of the circuits that i really like it's a sort of key card security system you can have it hooked up over here to a hidden door or something so how this works is um, if I place any old item in this dropper, let's say red wool, it won't go through this I hopper, which is basically hooked up to an item filter. As you can see here, we have the things that we want to uh, be passed through. So now if i place the actual right key card for demonstration i place a redstone lamp here we have an output if we power this off the uh, piece of paper comes back here you can pick it up and uh, go back so this is this will be in some sort of wall in your house, so you can only see that, so no one can steal it, right? Okay, so how to build it? Uh, we will uh, skip the redstone lamp part here, because that was basically for demonstration. We place the dropper here, the hopper running into the dropper. Here we place a comparator. On a block here we place two more redstone dots, a repeater facing this way. On this block we place some redstone under the hopper. From this block we place a redstone lamp. Here of course we need to place the lever. So now we're gonna make an item filter only for red, red wool. Okay, hello guys, this is me from the future. Uh, I'm going to quickly explain this because I forgot to mention it in the video. 
To make an item filter, you need to take the certain type of block you want to filter. It needs to also have the same name as the block that you will insert. The name also matters. Uh, and in the first slot of the hopper, you need to place 18 of that item. Uh, and the remaining four slots, you need to put in each one of them one block. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. So now I place the red wool inside. We get the output. If I place a dropper, no output. So this here is a T flip flop for short or a toggleable flip flop. How this works, it's basically a toggle. If we press this button, we toggle the redstone lamp on, we press the button again, we toggle it off. How this works, this uh, observer gets moved here and goes back uh, here. It sees that the block has changed, so it gives a one tick pulse output to this piston on the top, which spits out its block, doesn't extend and puts it back. It spits it out here to the redstone lamp. And on the powering off side, the side is the same, except it doesn't spit out the block, it sucks it back in. So how to build it, you take two sticky pistons, one stone button, an observer, one block of redstone, and here for demonstration I'm going to use a redstone lamp. So we place the uh, sticky piston, an observer facing with the like red dot thingy up, a sticky piston on the top of that, a block of redstone, and as I said for demonstration, uh, I will place a redstone lamp, and the last part is the button. As you can see, works perfectly. The next thing, this is really similar to the thing we built earlier, which was the toggleable flip flop or T flip flop. This will be a one tick mono stable circuit. It has been uh, drastically shrunk down thanks to the use of an observer here. Earlier, you needed to use like blo uh, blocks spitting out with sticky pistons, uh, going to a, a repeater and stuff, and it was way, way bigger. Here, thanks to the observer, it is as tiny as you can see. It works very similar to the T flip flop because this is the, basically the side circuit, except this is not powering the observer isn't powering a piston sticky piston it powers this block with some redstone on it like so so what you need for this is one sticky piston an observer facing with the red dot up some block redstone dust and a button again works perfectly this is called an AND gate. As you can see here, we have these torches that power this block, that powers this target block with this torch, depowers this torch, which doesn't power the rest of the lamp. The rest of the lamp is off. If we flick one of the levers, this turns off, but this redstone torch over here still powers this, at redstone dust which still turns off this redstone lamp but if we flick both of the levers then this is depowered which lets this redstone lamp torch power on which gets us out a signal and the redstone lamp is indeed on the same is for the other side if this one only is powered this is off so to build it you need two levers uh three solid blocks you place the levers like so up the back you need to place the redstone torches here you place the redstone dust you place the target block here with the redstone torch as you can see it automatically powered off and for demonstration i will place a redstone lamp again doesn't work 
doesn't work both of them need to be turned off then this goes on and last but not least this is one of the coolest ones here this will be an automatic minecart dispenser and automatic minecart breaker so if we step on this minecart is dispensed because this powers a dispenser there but it also depowers the storage which depowers the minecart rails powered rails but if we go into the minecart the pressure plate has been powered off which powers on the storage and we went away if we come back we flow in here we go in here we go up the hill the minecart hits the cactus mm. it falls into these hoppers which puts it back here into the dispenser so this has a ton of different blocks so first i'm gonna start with the redstone side uh, and the sort of shape of the machine so we're gonna place the blocks here uh, basically your rails here we place the dispenser facing upwards we place one hopper facing shift clicking in to this dispenser we shift click onto this hopper place another one on the sides here we need to place our redstone so we place the torch the dust and the pressure plate the dust and the redstone torch uh, next we I am going to take the rails so we have powered rails here you need to shift click on the dropper and the hopper out the back I need to take the quartz slabs sand and cacti I place the sand the cacti up top and don't forget guys the slabs so you don't die while being afk uh, I just press take a button here for a demonstration just just for this module and now uh, you need to craft some minecarts mm, in, a, in a perfect situation you should fill up the whole dispenser with minecarts but if you're running low on iron one of them will be in love so I step here minecart gets dispensed I go away, when I go back, minecart gets broken, I stand here, and all of the minecarts are back in. So guys, that was it for today, I have shown you guys 5 easy and very useful redstone contraptions. I hope you enjoyed this video, also guys, I really thank you for hitting 100 subscribers i never thought i would get here and also thank you for all of the support on the um rest on torchkey video i think now it has hit over 8,000 views which is absolutely nuts for me um but anyways i will see you in the next one bye bye